Um, I think we just uh, have been out physical in our teams, and that's been one of those games. When you take a look at this offense, what is it that you guys do well, and what are some of the things you're going to try and roll over from the regular season into this Friday's playoff game? Uh, I think we spread the ball out pretty well, and uh, we just got to stick to that. What is Coach stress to you about South Adams, especially defensively, and what are some of the, the little things and or maybe even the bigger things that you're working on this, this week in practice? Uh, their quarterback's really good. He's young, but uh, he has a great arm, so we just got to shut him down. When you take a look at this on paper, you're talking about uh, the new rankings came out today. You guys are fourth, they're sixth in the state. These are two teams that have state championship aspirations, and yet you're meeting in the in the first round. One yeah. of these teams isn't going to make it out of the first round of the playoffs. So what's the mentality heading into this game? How excited are you guys to play a state championship type level game right off the bat? Um, <laughs> we're honestly so excited just to play, and uh, we've been looking forward to it for a while. And uh, I think everybody's been kind of talking about AC and South Adams this year, so it's just exciting to get the chance to play them now. When you take a look at this Cherubusco team, is this kind of the point you expected to be at at the beginning of the year? You know, a conference champion and a team that has a shot at a state championship as you enter the playoffs? Um, yeah, we always hold ourselves to high standards, so uh, we're always looking to do more than just conference. Uh, final question, what are going to be the biggest keys this coming Friday in the game against South Adams? I'm um, just playing physical and uh, executing on offense. Um, definitely our physicality. We're really amping it up this week, and uh, we need to work on that as well. I mean, that's probably where we're doing pretty well, and our, uh, our skilled positions are doing really well, and they know how to run the ball and handle it pretty well. What do you know about South Adams? What are some of the things that, that Coach said is stressed about the Starfire's team as they come to your place? Uh, we know they're big, we know they're fast, and we know that they're physical, and we just got to play our best game if we're going to want it to win this game. Um, you guys have state championship aspirations. They have state championship aspirations. One of you guys isn't going to make it out of the first round, though. This is a, this is a state title type atmosphere type game on paper so how excited are you guys to play a game like this right out of the gate uh it's pretty great for us to play something such a meaningful first round i mean it's going to get us jacked to get the if we win we'll move on and we have a tough road to get to where we want to go so if we start out tough first then we're gonna keep it rolling Tom was saying that people have talked a lot about in 1A this season, about South Adams, about Adams Central, that maybe you guys have flown under the radar a little bit. Do you, is that something that you feel? Do you feel like some people are counting you out, that you, even though you're ranked ahead of this team, that some people think of you as an underdog? Um, we know that AC and uh, South Adams are pretty good. I guess it doesn't really matter to us what we think. Uh, we're just going to go out there and play our best game, no matter what other, everybody else thinks. Final question, what are going to be the biggest keys on Friday night for Busco coming out victorious? Uh, definitely physicality and uh, executing. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? Well, I think uh, what helped us in you know some of our bigger games that we had success in in the, in the regular Very season good. was that you know we played – Physica you know, physically, we played e extremely well and aggressive, and uh, we were probably mentally tougher than other points in the season. And uh, I think if we're going to have any type of success against South Adams, uh, then we have to be physical and we have to be mentally tough. And uh, if we're not, it's going to be a pretty early exit for us. When you take a look at this game on paper, you're talking about a team that the new rankings came out this afternoon. You guys are number four in 1A, they're number six. I mean, this is a two teams that have realistic shots at winning a state championship, yet one is not going to make it out of the first round. How do you prepare for a game? I mean, some teams get to ease into the playoffs. You guys don't. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's kind of the way we expect it to be, you know, in, in our sectional. And you know, I talked to Coach Mosier uh, a little bit last week, and and it's just kind of the way it is. Uh, you know, there's not really an easy path through our sectional, and it is unfortunate. You know, half the teams in, in the state are going to be done uh, after Friday, and and it stinks that ha you know some of those teams are going to be pretty good, and uh, you know have probably a chance to, to win some more. But uh, it's just the way it is. It's the, it's the luck of the draw, and um, obviously we have a lot of respect for them and and what they do and. They win a lot of championships down there and a lot of things, and they take weightlifting very seriously. Uh, they beat us two years ago in, in the postseason in the, in the sectional championship. So, um, you know, we, there's no illusions for us that, you know, we're, we're, our, our ranking is this and theirs is that. It's just it's one of those games that we're going to have to play really good football and, and play smart, take care of the football, and, and do our job extremely well and, and hopefully put ourselves in position to be competitive at the end. You mentioned physicality, but are there any things that you're, besides that, that you're, 
are specifically stressing this week to get ready for, obviously, the game on Friday? Well, I mean, I think uh, anybody that's seen him play knows that, uh, you know, James Arnold is, is a really good quarterback. Um, and, and not only is he a good quarterback, uh, he makes good decisions, he doesn't get rattled, and he's got a lot of kids to, to, to get the ball to. Um, so I think from – you know, from a defensive perspective, just watching that kid, uh, you know, I lost. I know they lost the Stuber kid early in the year, and, and uh, you know, it's too bad because I know that guy worked extremely hard, but they've got a lot of young weapons that they, you know, are able to get the ball to, and defensively they're extremely aggressive. So, um, you know, they. I thought that they, they played Adam Central, um, you know, as good as anybody could have, and, and uh, you know, it's just uh, one of those things that, uh, AC probably made a few more plays than them, but kind of just you know hearing things and uh, understanding the the depth that Adams Central has. I, I think that uh, you know South Adams is as good a team as there is in the ACAC or in in, in our sectional or in one A. And I think a lot of it has to do with the the amount of weapons they have. All right. Anything else you'd like to add, Coach? No, sir.